In this video, we're going to talk about the best science-based exercises to help you build a fuller upper chest. So which type of chest do you prefer? The square armor plate look where the top is just as full as the bottom or a bottom heavy chest where the lower is more developed than the upper? Let me know in the comment section below. Before we get into the research of the upper chest exercises, let's quickly talk about the anatomy of the chest. So the clavicular head, which is your upper chest, shown here in green, originates from the clavicle, which is the collarbone, and runs to the humerus, which is the long bone in your upper arm. This green portion is what we're going to focus on. So we know that the incline is used to target the upper chest, but the question is, what is the best incline angle to use? So this study looked at muscle activation in the clavicular head, which is the upper portion that we're talking about, the sternocostal head, which is the lower major part of your chest, and they also looked at the anterior or front deltoid. And the angles that they compared was 0 degrees, which is a flat bench press, 28 degrees, 44 degrees, and 56 degrees. So the greatest muscle activation caused in the upper chest was found at the 44, or we'll call it the 45 degree angle, but there are limitations to this study. The main limitation was that it was done using the Smith machine, which is a very controlled movement and doesn't mimic the same natural movement pattern as say a barbell or a dumbbell, but this is still valuable information and you'll see why in a second. A second study that used a free weight barbell bench press found similar muscle activation in the upper chest with a 30 degree angle and a 45 degree angle. And this additional muscle activation mainly occurred in the concentric part of the lift. So let's wrap this up. Study 1, Smith machine. 45 degree angle was better than a 30 degree angle. Study two, barbell, a 30 degree angle was similar to a 45 degree angle. So which one should we use? The researchers of the free weight barbell study actually recommended the 30 degree angle, but this wasn't because it was better for the upper chest, but because it also produced greater muscle activation in the lower chest than the 45 degree angle. So if you're primarily just doing incline pressing, then a 30 degree angle is better. If, on the other hand, you're already incorporating some flat bench pressing, which is going to provide a great training stimulus for your lower chest, then I would recommend using the 45 degree angle because the Smith machine study did find greater muscle activation at 45 degrees. So the next exercise we're going to look at is the incline cable chest fly. And the reason we're doing this is because one of the main functions of the chest is horizontal adduction, which is like bringing your arms across the front of your chest, similar to what you see in this movement. And I would recommend using the cables instead of the dumbbells on this movement because the cables will provide horizontal tension throughout the entire rep, where with dumbbells, when you're at the very top, there's very little to no tension on your chest. So the last exercise that we're going to look at is the incline push-up. And this is great because you can use it as a finisher at the end of your workout. And you can do this anytime, any place. Um, you can even do this on your off days if you really want to bring up your upper chest. So that's the end of the video. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, that was the first video I edited on my new MacBook. Um, I know you can't see it because this camera is sitting on the MacBook right now. Um, in Final Cut Pro, which is a way smoother, easier it's just way better to use Final Cut Pro, the transitions, the effects, everything was easier to deal with. So I really like the way it came out. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Hit me up on Instagram. That's where I'm always posting science and any research that I come across. That is the first place I post it. And then based on, you know, the feedback or what I see doing well over there, I take that and transition it into a video afterwards. So anything you see that you like, um, any ideas you want to hit me up with, let me know in the comment section below. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.